Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining how to use the new feature, Video Frames, to actually play videos inside of your Roblox games, okay? And I'm actually going to show you a demo of what I mean right here, so let me actually go ahead and show you how it works. Quick, so as you can see, we're going to hit run, and boom. As you can see, we have this video playing right here. You can even hear the audio, right, which is pretty cool. And uh, do not point in front of these. As you can see, though, it does work perfectly. That's pretty sweet. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys actually how to set these up, how to use them, um, you know, like the news around them and all that stuff in this video today. So anyways, let's get started. All right, so first things first, uh, video frames actually just came out, okay? They just came out two days ago, as you can see right here. The post was two days ago. But basically, they've been in testing for a while. They've been in beta, but they finally just came out of the public. Now, basically, um, in this article, they're just saying uh, how they use the block sees they worked well so what they're going to do is give it to the rest of the community aka you guys and then also they're giving you 50 free videos to actually use right and you can use them in your game whatever you want but um one issue is you can't actually upload your own just yet which is kind of unfortunate but you will be able to very very soon uh it talks about that in this article as well but basically you find them on the development tab i'll show you guys that in a little bit too um and how do you use them i'll show you guys that here in a second as well <laughs> you will be able to upload your own soon, right? Uh, so hey, as you can see here, it says, we are working on our next milestone of allowing all of you to upload custom video content for your own experiences, so stay tuned for that. All right, sweet. So anyways, let me teach you guys how to actually use them. All right, so what you need to do first is actually go to the library on Roblox, okay? So as you can see, go to the home page. Uh, you have this right here. Go and go to the create tab. And then what you're gonna wanna do is just find the library and then go to video. Uh, and as you can see here, it's a new tab and it has all the videos they can use. Now, it actually, there's 50 of them but it doesn't show the all 50 so what you have to do is actually go ahead and hit sort by best selling and there you go now it shows all 50 all right now what you need to do is go ahead and pick a video you want uh personally i like this fight loop one and also the weapon safety one's kind of cool too but i like the fight loop one so i'm going to use this one right here click get and then hit get now or you can just copy the id i'm going to go ahead and just hit get now i guess um so i can use them easier now once you've done that okay <laughs> go ahead and open up Roblox studio okay so go ahead and go to new base plate and now all you want to do is go ahead and insert a partner to your uh, game you actually can use them on screen gy but i'll show you guys that in a second but first i'm going to show you actually how to use them on a part so i'm going to go ahead and make a little tv type thing right like sort of like the dimensions of one two not really a square because a square would kind of distort it but i'm going to do like a rectangle to get your video you need to actually put it on a surface gui okay so go ahead and click on like the plus button by the part in the explorer but if you don't see that and you're in your new roblox studio go to the view tab hit properties and explorer and then it'll pop up there but anyways go ahead and click on the explorer tab uh and then you'll see right there there. Go ahead and click on the plus button on the part and then enter a screen GUI. Or actually, sorry, surface GUI. All right, now once you've got that, what we're going to do is go ahead and make the video f actually show on the surface GUI. All right, what we're going to do is go to the toolbox. So make your toolbox visible. And then we can go to uh, videos. And as you can see, there's all the default ones. You can take them out of here if you want. But you can go ahead and click on this button and actually show you your videos, the ones that you got. And as you can see, it has the two that I just got. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is go ahead and drag that video uh, fight loop into here on to um, explore and then I'm going to drag the fight loop into surface GUI and then what that just did is it put it inside the surface GUI now it's actually on the other side so what we can do is rotate the part real quick go okay pretty simple and as you can see that's the video now if you go and hit play it actually isn't going to run yet you have to do a few more things but as you can see if you hit play nothing happens it doesn't run yet so what you need to do actually is make it so it actually runs now how do you do that basically go ahead and click on the fight loop right here and then go to your properties you might just remember right here but go to your properties and then as you can see there are a bunch of new ones like is loaded there's looped there's playing uh, resolution right also, there's time position. As you can see, it's 0. 0.0007, which is kind of weird. You think it'd be at zero, but if you set it to zero, it actually just goes back to the default, uh, which is that. Now, it does that, I'm pretty sure, because it has to be at the first frame, right? Um, so it makes sense. And then also, you can adjust the volume. If they have volume, you can just adjust it pretty easily like this, right? Uh, let me set the volume mix of one so it doesn't blast our ears. So now, what you have to do, actually, is just hit the um, hit the looped button and then hit the playing button. And then basically, looped, obviously, makes it loop. And then playing makes it so it starts playing. And then um, since it's looped, it'll keep playing. So let's go ahead and hit run and see if it works and as you can see here <laughs> we got this sick noob fight all right uh it looks pretty cool in my opinion i like it um you know what i mean it, there's a lot of it, it's just really cool how this came out because soon you'll be able to upload your own videos and there'll be a lot more cool things to be able to do with this so i'm very very excited um it's gonna be fun to see how these work um but yeah now unfortunately you can only actually play two videos at once uh right now which kind of sucks but it is what it is um so i'm gonna go and get the other video real quick uh out of the toolbox let me just drag that on there that's put that on there as you can see this is just a video frame this is what this little thing is and then let me do the same thing make sure it's looped and playing and then run and as you can see it's gonna play 
play both at the same time. <laughs> you can even hear them at the same time too, it's kind of cool. But as you can see, it works just fine, pretty cool. Um, and also the loops, so they keep going. Now, I'm pretty sure they're only like five seconds long. I think the longest video is like five seconds or something like that, maybe ten. Um, but you know, it, it's whatever. Kind of cool still though they have them, and it's just cool to know that these are going to be you know more widely used in the future, right? That's what's really cool to me. All right, but if you want to actually show them like on the screen and not on a part, what you can do is make a make a screen GUI and sort of start with the GUI, and then just put the video inside of that. And as you can see here, if I hit play, okay, I think I need to hit play, my bad. No, I didn't actually hit it play here because it's not going to run because uh, GUI is client-sided. If you don't know what that means, don't worry. But as you can see, it works. All right, the video is playing. And, and the quality is kind of low, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I don't know. Like The thing is, the quality starts off good, but I think the video is just rendered badly. Because, like, look, see, it starts off nice, and then it gets more pixelated as it goes on. I think it has something to do with the actual video itself and not the video frames. But I guess we'll see how that works uh, in the future. But as you can see, pretty cool. Uh, it's on my screen, it's on the whole thing. So basically, you can, you know, watch movies in Roblox eventually. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that'll actually happen, but who knows? Who knows? Um, but obviously, guys, there's a lot of cool things you can make with this. Unfortunately, you can't upload videos just yet. But when, the, when you are able to, I'll update the video. I'll, I'll put a pin comment comment below and uh if and you'll be able to see if it's updated but yeah mess around with it hope you enjoy it um that's pretty much video frames there guys make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video it helps you out also subscribe if you're new and you want more robux development related videos i hope you enjoyed use code tap when you buy robux and we'll see you in the next one peace